And prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men in this country. Uh, approximately 200,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year. Um, when a man is diagnosed with prostate cancer, there are several treatment options available to him. Uh, these options include watchful waiting, also known as observation, rathoprostatectomy, or removal of the prostate, uh, prostate brachytherapy or prostate implants, and daily radiation or external beam radiation in which a man will receive radiation every day for approximately seven to eight weeks. When a urologist diagnoses a man with prostate cancer, they often encourage the man to undergo radical prostatectomy because they tell the patient that's the standard of care. Uh, and while prostate, radical prostatectomy remains a good therapy for patients, um, patients need to know that this is not their only option. With radical prostatectomy, patients are open to infections, bleeding, and certain surgical complications such as the inability to have erections or the inability to control their urine. These issues can be minimized by less invasive procedures with equal cure rates. Um, these procedures include daily radiation or prostate brachytherapy. Just about every patient is appropriate for daily radiation. Patients come in every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, for about seven and a half to eight weeks, lie down a machine, and receive radiation, which lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. Daily radiation is an excellent form of therapy, which provides excellent cure rates with very minimal toxicity. However, for many patients, uh, due to scheduling issues, they're unable to come every day for therapy. For those patients, they're able to receive the benefit of radiation with minimal side effects through brachytherapy. With prostate brachytherapy, we were able to deliver a high dose of radiation precisely into the prostate while avoiding the bladder and the rectum, in which we can deliver a very high rate of cure without the need for daily radiation or surgery. Well, there's two general forms of prostate brachytherapy which we deliver for men. The first is what's called prostate seed implant, and that is where we actually implant radioactive seeds within the prostate. These seeds stay in the prostate permanently uh, with the radiation activity given off in about four to six months. The second way to deliver radiation to the prostate through brachytherapy is, is what's called high dose rate brachytherapy. And in this procedure, a man goes to the operating room and catheters are placed through the perineum right into the prostate. Um, following that, the patient is transferred to the radiation oncology department where within our department we actually place radiation sources through those catheters into the prostate where those sources will stay in place for about 10 to 15 minutes. Before brachytherapy is performed for prostate cancer, an ultrasound or CT scan is obtained. Uh, we can determine where the areas of cancer are based on the CT scan and also based on the biopsy results from the urologist. When we get to the operating room, we have a precise map of where to aim the radiation beams. In doing so, under the guidance of both fluoroscopy and ultrasound, radiation sources are placed within the prostate to precisely target the areas of the cancer. The sources within the prostate will then radiate the prostate as if they're getting daily radiation. The advantage to prostate brachytherapy is that the radiation sources can be delivered precisely such that the organs around the prostate are not affected. So over the past 10 to 15 years, men should be offered all therapies because the therapies result in equivalent cure rates. With radiation, either delivered through daily radiation or through brachytherapy, we we're able to deliver a high dose of radiation to the prostate, a low dose to the surrounding structures, and able to achieve excellent cure rates with minimal toxicity.